Yo, what is up guys? Gesty here and welcome to the first of several, hopefully, Redstone tutorials. And basically, uh, this was a highly requested tutorial. Um, you know, please teach me about some Redstone. And so I thought, why the heck not do a series on it? Because uh, I did have a look on YouTube and I mean, there is quite a few out there, but to be honest, I don't like a lot of them because I don't think um, a lot of things are explained properly. And I hope to maybe bring my own spin to it and explain it as best I know how, because I feel that I'm relatively competent in using redstone. So uh, first of all, uh, I'm gonna you know get into the basics of it. You know, cover the real basic sort of things and then we'll gradually progress on and we'll get into some more advanced stuff later on somewhere down the track depending on how many tutorials I do and uh, you know what the feedback is from them whether you guys actually like these tutorials or not and want to see more of them so first of all uh, I'm just going to explain the three I, I class them as only three basic uh, redstone items and then there's all your other items which are actually interrelated to redstone but not the three basic ones so the three basic ones are redstone dust redstone torch and a repeater and of course there are other items which activate the redstone which uh, transmit it which move or do something but they uh, do not come under my three of the basic redstone units so, uh, when talking about redstone, redstone only can be in two states. It can either be on or it can be off. And at the moment, you can see here that this redstone dust is in fact off. And if we want to uh, actually hook it up to this redstone torch here, it'll turn on. I'm not going to do that just yet because I want to explain what redstone dust actually does. So redstone dust uh, is basically a transmitter. It's like your wires for redstone. And basically it means that you can get signal from point A to point B. There are other ways, but it's the most basic form of transmitting a signal from A to B. So uh, that basically covers that. And then if I hook it up to a redstone torch, which is here, uh, it basically will tell you what a redstone torch does and a redstone torch is pretty much something that remains on unless there is power fed into it. So there we go and that hooked up to the redstone torch and we activated our redstone wire. So pretty cool stuff and I'll just quickly show you what happens if we actually power this redstone torch or the block that the redstone torch is sitting on it should turn off. There you go. So uh, in that respect, redstone torches act as an inverter, but I'll explain about them a little bit later on. I'll close this area up here. And that covers those two, basically. And then finally, third, we have our redstone repeater. And basically a redstone repeater acts either A, as a delay, or B, as a, a transmission extender or uh, a signal booster, if you like. Uh, so first of all, as a delay, I'll just quickly show you what it can do. So you noticed before that when I activated the redstone, um, it's basically instantaneous. So as soon as I put this signal on, this redstone torch next to the wire, it's straight on. And as soon as I take it away, it's off. Now, basically, if we uh, modify the delay on these repeaters, which uh, in the sense that we want to delay the signal. And if we right click on the repeaters, we'll be able to choose between four different states of delay. Basically it just increases the delay length. So this is the least delay. And if we click it three times, it'll be on the fourth, uh, the fourth tick. And that is the most delay. So we'll set all these to maximum delay just so you can get a visual, visual representation. And if I place a redstone torch next to this, they'll gradually light the end up. So, uh, uh, bang. So, you know, they do a little bit of delay. Um, but, you know, 
if you put a crap load of them down, you get a massive delay. And then just quickly moving on to its signal boosting abilities. If you have a signal of uh, redstone wire uh, traveling 15 blocks, or more than 15 blocks, sorry, then there will be no more signal passed. So basically, what you want to do is every 15 or so blocks, um, there's also other reasons for doing it, but every 15 or so blocks, uh, you want to place a redstone repeater, and that way it will completely boost the signal back up and you'll be right to go. And that basically covers all the little, the three basic units of redstone. Now I'll quickly move on to activation. Now activation of redstone is pretty, it can be pretty complex and can be confusing. Just simply because you got to, uh, it can not only ruin things you've done because you know, you might have a, a system with say some TNT in it and you accidentally activate it because you don't realize that something is hooking up to something wrong or it could be anything. So basically there are a few different methods of activating redstone. And first off, I'll show you, we already seen the redstone torch, so a redstone torch will activate uh, some redstone. And for the uh, simplicity of this tutorial, I'm only using uh, the redstone wire as something we're activating, just so I can keep it simple. But there is heaps of other things you can activate or, you know, whatever. So, <laughs> let's move on. Uh, the four different main uh, activators. And of course, there are a couple of others, but we're not going to explain that in this tutorial. Uh, first off, a lever, simple, on, off, as you wish. So, you know, uh, basically you use this if you just want to leave something on and then flick it again and it's turned off. Maybe opening a door, something simple like that. Next off, we have a pressure pad. So, pressure pad and a stone pressure pad, I should add, actually, because a stone pressure pad can only be activated by a unit walking over it. So when I say a unit, I mean a mob, like those sheep over there, or myself. If I walk over it, I'll activate it. Whereas if I try and drop something on it, it's nothing is gonna happen. So basically that's what a stone pressure pad does. And then if we have a wooden pressure pad, we can walk over it, a mob can walk over it, but we can also chuck something on it and it will also activate. So, you know, very, very useful item uh, for redstone creations. And finally, we have buttons. And buttons basically uh, light up, you know, activate redstone, but for only a short period of time. So this could also be useful for a door or something because it'll give you a second to get inside and then it will close behind you or something like that. It depends on what you want to do. But of course, doors aren't the only thing that can be activated by redstone. In talking about uh, items that can be activated by redstone, uh, basically there's a simple rule to follow. So if the item is either A, a glassy sort of item, so basically does it make that glass breaking sound when you break it? Like uh, for example, glass pane or let's go with where am I looking for? Glowstone. Glowstone's another one. Makes that annoying glass sound. Uh, if it makes that sound, or if it doesn't take up the full space of a block, either something like, well, a glass pane, or a half slab, or even, I'll sh quickly show you, uh, if I can find it, if I can find it, that'll do, even a bit of hoed land, which doesn't quite take up a full space of a block, Anything like that will not carry the signal of redstone. So, uh, when I say a block can carry redstone, what I mean is if we chuck a lever on this for the sake of demonstration, if I activate this, this side is our activator, but all other five sides of this uh, block here will, in fact, be active uh by redstone. So if I place blocks all around here, and we'll just get some signal. So there's some signal on this side, signal on this side, signal on this side. So that's what, three on the top, four, and below is five. Now obviously you can't place the, this uh, 
underneath it so it goes bl to below the block there and that basically covers everything I want to cover in the f first tutorial I know it's very simple and a lot of you already know this but I wanted to just cover everything from scratch so moving on to the next tutorial I will do some more advanced stuff and it is just becoming night time so it's probably a good time for me to end up there anyway so anyway thanks for watching let me know what you thought guests are here and peace